Let's jump right in and I'll explain it as we go. First thing I'm gonna do is open up the bank payments. So this is the file that comes from Bank of America with all the transaction data. And you can see that. And not every transaction is gonna match up to the data that's gonna be in the Waystar portal. But this is our first input file. And in this file, there's a text field with the electronic transfer information. And what you can see here is the TRN number on some of the lines, and that's a transaction number, so that's how you find the actual transactions. Now I'm going to go back, and I'm just going to start the automation. Here it goes, and now I'm hands off. Move the cursor down to the bottom, and it takes over. It's going to log in to the Waystar Clearinghouse portal. And I've got it set just to run it for today's date. So the first thing it's going to do is pick that date and then go download all the available data from Waystar for that particular date and create zip files. And I want to point out here that this is using a Generation 3 RPA technology, not a Generation 1 RPA technology like Blue Prism. And we're doing it in a much more data processing approach versus a automate what a human might do. And you can see at the bottom how it's getting all of the data that it needs from the Waystar portal, the EOBs, the 835s. It's downloading those into zip files. And in production, that data will then be uploaded into a SQL Server database for added functionality. Now it's complete. So now it's going to unzip the data, put it in folders. And now it's going to compare the bank file versus the data that it downloaded from Waystar. And when it finds a match, it will create an 835 file to be uploaded into any EHR system like Epic or Homecare Homebase. So these are the EOBs that it downloaded, and there were 22 that it was able to download. And so I'll just scroll through here quickly so you can see that it downloads the complete PDF of the EOB file. Okay. Now I'll go back and go into this 835 directory. It found four hits. So these are the four 835s that will then just import right into the HCHB home care home base. EHR program. And that'll reconcile the Bank of America file with what was found in the Waystar Clearinghouse. It also generates a process log so you can scroll back through that and see each and every item that it did and then we can see that it uh, found 52 lines, didn't find 80, and it moved four files. So those are the four files that we just looked at. It also creates a not found report. So this will tell you the items that were in the Bank of America file. And if you look at column H, I'll highlight it here, you can see why they were not matched. So you have a timing issue between the Waystar portal and when it has the data and the Bank of America. And so in production, this will go back and compare three months worth of data every single day for any open records. This proof of concept demo was created in less than one week. So it's pretty amazing how fast we could go and develop a very functional solution for this use case. And the 835s are standard files. So again, those can be imported into Epic, Cerner, Allscripts, and in this case, Home Care, Home Base. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed this operational innovation video.